They can go anywhere in the world and, and learn, pay their way there, give them a stipend to learn um, um, so they can live, you know, pay their way back, um, give people uh, housing, uh, bring the people fresh water. Um, the brother is doing so much for his people as far as their independence as a people and their success as individuals, because he has enough sense to know if the individuals of my country are successful, then my country is successful, which the stupid United States still has yet to figure out, because it's a corporation. You as an empire or country can only be as awesome as your weakest link. And this country has yet, or corporation calling itself one, has yet to figure that out. They're so busy on this divide and keep everybody divided that you got the Jewish uh, 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 townships over here and the Germans are over here. This is the United States I'm talking about. And the Russians are over here and the gays are over here and the Mexicans that used to be over here seem to be now everywhere. Um, and then you got the blacks that used to be kind of everywhere that are now only over here. Um, and you got the Koreans over here and here's a little Chinatown and here's just the Japanese are here. It's becoming this little segment of a bunch of divided to be conquered people. You know what I'm saying? And most of these divided to be conquered people, all of them are looking down their noses at the melanin rich people whose house this is that y'all all found here, that they all found here. You know what I'm saying? So while they tripping on us, uh, we could be doing what some of these other countries are doing. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm saying all this about a brother that's being lied on. He's being set up, uh, and uh, this whole arrest warrant they're putting out for this brother. Y'all need to do more research into Gaddafi. He's even trying to, he was trying to set up the United States of Africa, you know, which did you not bother nobody. Why is the United States and the European alliance thinking it's their business to dictate how everybody else should be? Why? Because they want everybody's damn children. I'm saying it again. They're after the children, and I don't care what color the children are. They are after everyone's children. That's it. That's all. Now, for those of you that don't believe in reincarnation, oh, you live, you die, and that's it. Fine. I would suggest to you that it is better to err on the side of caution and go, what if there is such a thing as reincarnation? What if there's any possibility that I have to come back to this world as a child? What if? If you have to come back as a child, never mind the fact that you don't believe in reincarnation, what if there is such a thing? What if you don't do what I've asked you to do to amplify your frequency enough to get a back door out of here, or better yet, fix here, because that would be the best thing to fix here, and you have to come back into a world where the European Union is currently uh, damn near in charge. And for everybody that's not totally subjected to it, they have the United States militia and uh, the U.N. troops to go around the world and bully everybody else into submission and to be under the European alliance and the European Union. Well, if the European Union thinks that uh, sex with children and pedophilia and child pornog pornography are normal and should be legalized, and this is the culture, and the, the, the head of the Roman Catholic Church, the current pope, says, well, Pedophilia and child pornography is becoming very normal. If these are the people that are in charge, and trust me, these are the people that are in charge for the most part, and they're the people that are bullying everybody else into submission that is not quite yet under submission, like Libya, North Korea, Cuba, the people that are not totally in submission, they're trying to beat them in submission. And they're going to do that by misinforming the masses about who these people are, and what the deal is. But it's like, oh, no, there will be nobody out here that's not under our thumb because we want access to everybody's child and everybody's buttholes because that's what they're about. But if that is the case, don't you think that it would be better to try to fix this planet just in case you have to come back here? And there is such a thing as reincarnation. And I guarantee if you reincarnate, you're coming back as a child into a world that thinks it's okay to have sex with children? 
even one day old, two days old, three days old, excuse you, excuse me? Or maybe worse, you'll come back as an animal in a world where you have people in charge that think it's okay to have sex with animals, American Dad, for example, or uh, uh, I'm getting my, my shows mixed up, uh, uh, Family Guy, Family Guy. Either way, if you come back as an animal, if you come back as a child, if you're coming back here with the people that are in charge of here right now, you are going to be in trouble. I don't give a damn what color you think you are or what color you think you're coming back to. You might come back to a mother that's a great mother who might wind up dead in childbirth, and off you go into the foster care system, or off you go being adopted by gosh only knows who. And a lot of these people that think this is okay, these are the people that are currently running around snatching children out of Haiti, snatching children from all over the United States. And everybody's on some whole, we don't care, people are just black. No, you better care. Because a lot of people have a particular preference. Well, I only like them blonde-haired and blue-eyed. I only want little blonde-haired boys. Don't, don't, don't bring them to me over three. Don't bring them to me over seven. People better look and see whose children are missing. There are a ton of children missing, and they are falling from the, across the rainbow divide. And I'm all on some whole other stuff, and I'm going to stop there so I can give you guys the spiritual stuff because I'm ranting and raving, not because I didn't know. I did know. I've been telling you all for the longest that these people were like this. And like I said, we are in trouble because of the people whose parents ran away and their children didn't keep the torch going. They're so busy on some we white, we white shit that they done lost the damn point, missed the damn boat, and now we're all in trouble because people are white. Well, having said all that, as I said before, everybody's suffering now, and children are coming up missing and being turned out all over the planet by people that are crazy. And these are the people at the top. And these are these Tea Party people, too. I'm going to call them what they are. These are the same people that have always pushed that the United States must be destroyed agenda because she's too powerful. So having said that, I'm done. I'm only talking about it because uh, I was shocked to know that the people not only partake in the behavior, and I've exposed it time and time again as the behavior and the culture, I'm stunned that they actually have the nerve to say so and put it out there for the whole world to see. And not only that, where the hell was ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox? What's up? I got a problem here. You know where they were? They were doing what they're supposed to do because they're being run by these very people. And they ain't going to say nothing other than what they're supposed to say. So if you want the real truth, you've got to find it on the Internet, and they're trying to get control of the Internet. Now, what I wanted to give you guys on a spiritual tip today is how to make an energy bar. Um, as far as telepathy, seeing auras, uh, controlling others, I don't know if I'm going to get into that next uh, show, which is in two weeks, or if I'm going to just say, you know what, I'm done talking to people about spiritual stuff, and I'm going to just start talking, give you the little bit of tidbits of nothing that I really don't know that much about on law. I don't know that much, but maybe y'all should know the little pieces that I have about law. And the only reason is this. Our people are, um, oh, and by the way, I, in case I didn't say who the person was that I was describing that's looking out for their people, I was talking about Brother Qaddafi in Libya. They're lying on this cat, okay, because I don't know if I'm digressing or not. But um, the, the tidbit of um, information that I'm putting out there, it's not that much. It's not that hard. It doesn't cost very much of anything to do the things I'm saying, a salt bath couple of sounds, and everybody should know it. The reason I'm thinking about getting up off the spiritual stuff is this. My niggas, y'all be dragging your asses. Y'all take too long to move on the information I give you. Now, that's not all of you. Those of you that are doing your due diligence, you know who you are, and some of you, I know who you are. But this is my problem. I had Brother Eaton on on June the 2nd. And he talked about how he was doing his sounds and how, you know, he had not taken a salt bath. He was dragging his ass on the salt bath thing. And when I got on the, the, the listeners and, you know, a few weeks 
uh, after the salt bath information, actually about, it was over a month after I had given salt bath information, I got on listeners for failure to do so. He took it personal and was like, oh, man, Sister Yaffa's talking to me. Dang. She heard, she know I didn't do my salt bath. He did his salt bath. The next morning, he was levitating off the floor. He had been doing the sound and feeling the energy and the power, but he didn't levitate off the floor until he did the salt bath and then the sound. However, when I brought him on the show on June the 2nd, that had been over two months after I gave salt bath instruction. Some people did not bother to take their first salt bath until after they heard Brother Eaton because he inspired you to take a salt bath. Well, I'm not saying that anything was done, but I'm just saying, while I'm talking to you, Blog Talk Radio is worldwide listening. It is global. Yes, I'm talking to the Americans on how to restore America for us and all the people that have run here for whatever reason. Now, some of you are like, well, hell, they need to all go home. I don't know if they all need to go home or not. Frankly, I don't care where everybody is. Just leave me the hell alone is my attitude. But there are people in other countries that can listen to what I'm saying. You can be on a satellite out in space or a spaceship out in space and listen to what I'm saying. Once I open my mouth and say it on blog talk, it's out there forever for the whole world to hear. And while you guys are dragging your asses, for all you know, because trust me when I tell you, we have enemies that are pro-child abduction and pro-cannibalism and all this other nonsense, and they are trying to stop those that would stop them. And they know who the people on the planet are that can stop them. That's why they make sure everybody in the world keeps their foot on the neck of the niggas of America. Now, a lot of you are like, oh, they, they're thinking they're better. They must think they got it like that. No, I don't think nothing. I know what my people are capable of. We don't have all the guns and this and that, but we have something else. And you were born with it. You were born knowing. A lot of you were born using certain things, and as you got older, you stopped doing certain things because you were scared about it or your parents were scared about it because they started dragging your ass to church and people started praying over niggas and, 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 and invoking Jesus over your ass and speaking in tongues over you and just messed up all your might and all your power, told you you were black and ugly and nappy and ugly and got you on some inferior shit, and I'm getting you off of it. Now, while you are taking your time and the enemy is listening, for all I know, in the two months, three months, and some of you ain't took a salt bath yet. In the time it's taken for you to do what I'm saying do, Martin Salt, Leslie Salt, Epsom Salt, these people could have gone and started tampering with the damn salt. I'm not saying they have, but I'm saying while you are taking your time to move, they are moving. You must remember the enemy is functioning 24-7, and niggas only move when there's an emergency. Well, I'm trying to tell you, in an emergency is not the time to try to get this shit together. You need to figure things out before shit hits the fan on you. Now, I learned stuff after the emergency when LAPD framed my son. That's when I got it. I get it that that's how some people are going to get it. But that's not the time to do this. So I'm saying all that to say, if I give you something, uh, so a sister emailed me. I don't know when this went up. A sister that listens in Deutschland, Germany. And we have, I have listeners all over the world that contact me. And they are Americans from America. And some of them are not military. They're just in other countries for whatever reason they're in other countries. But their roots and origins are here. And they know it. And they are helping to get the grid up. Wherever you are, when you throw up that egg of security and you connect them cables to the three planets above you, through you down into the core of the earth, that is one pipe in the fence. That is a cord of light that, that is part of the grid. Can't nothing get past your grid once you throw up yours, and your grid connects to the next grid, wherever it may be that's similar, and there are a bunch of us around the world that are putting the grid back up. I never told you that that's what you were doing. I said we're getting the grid up. I never told you that's what you were doing. If you've ever seen a... Ferris, not a Ferris wheel, a merry-go-round that children ride at a carnival, and you put the child on the horse, and they ride around and around in circles, and the little horse goes up and down and up and down. 
That is the concept. You have the horse suspended.